Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem. So I want to show you guys today an attempted fix for one of the most annoying issues in OBS Studio. I'm using OBS here on Ubuntu Linux and that is the audio video sync issue. Now there might be an audio video sync issue in this clip because um, I'm actually recording in simple screen recorder. But if you want to get your uh, audio and video in sync in OBS, then this might help. Now there's a few different ways to do this and I watched a few YouTube videos. Some guys uh, come out with an OBS sync tool that has the uh, falling meter and a clicking sound and that's one way to do it but this is just kind of a quick and dirty method that um, I'm trying to use using just OBS and Caden Live. So the first thing that I did was I started a recording and I just did. Now some people use a um, clapboard, uh, I just use my hands. So going to start the recording now. So we're, we're recording the webcam and we're recording the audio from the, uh, let's just check. Yeah, from the lab mic. Okay, so here we go. And this is the, the lab mic's one was the problem. So I'm just going to do it three times so that I can take an average. I'm going to go ahead and stop that recording. And what I'm going to do now is open up this clip that I just took into Caden Live. So this was a previous test I did. So let me just go ahead and drag this guy in. Okay, so now drag this into Caden Live. And uh, I'm gonna switch over to the 30 frames per second profile just so that the frame rate here corresponds. Now I have my waveform at the bottom. I can just see quickly, this is where my claps are going to be. They're kind of distinctive on the waveform. So what I'm going to do here is <clears throat> I'm going to cut at where the sound occurred. This is where on the audio waveform you can see the clap is registering. And then I'm going to look at where exactly what frame. I'm going to go frame by frame here. One, two. So we have audio and then we have video. So this is, this is a frame where my hands connect. I'm just gonna give, and this is a common recommendation because we usually hear sound travels faster than light. Um, just gonna give one or two more frames onto that. Now I'm gonna very simply just measure the distance between these two points. So this is where we, we're hearing the clap sound. This is where the clap sounds on the, on the video plus a couple of frames. And then all I need to do is go and edit duration and you can see it's 0 0.06. Um, so just use a quick converter and just go seconds, seconds to milliseconds. Well, that's going to be 60, but you know, just to demonstrate anyway. So 0 0.06 of a second equals 60 milliseconds. So that means that we're going to need to apply a positive 60 millisecond latency. Uh, I got 70 on the last attempt, so you can play around with these tiny increments. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, go into my um, audio here, advanced audio properties, and I'm going to add the sync delay at 60 seconds. So just think about that. We heard the sound, then there was where the sound should be. And um, another video that I found helpful to explain this is that the sound feed is lighter for OBS. So it reads that first, then it reads the heavier video feed. And what we do, what we want to do therefore is just push back the sound feed that tiny bit. So that's that's what we're doing here. So I'm just gonna go ahead again and try with the 60 millisecond delay. One, two, three. Stop that recording and uh, let me just clean up here. Delete this guy and let's just grab this guy. And now let's just see how we're doing. <clears throat> you can see where my clapping is. One, two, three. So we're getting now, we've got it down to this. You can see the frame where the sound, so we're actually lagging a tiny bit now. So we're actually having the video is coming before the sound. So we've just, so, you know, you can just take a couple of times uh, and just gonna get the center of this waveform here. And this would actually be applying this. So we'd be subtracting the delay here. This is 0 0.03. So if we do the math here, 
30 to the 60, uh, we'd be subtracting that, but it's getting pretty close. So that's basically roughly, and it's kind of a, obviously, as I said, a rough method. You can do this as many times as you want to try to find the exact delay, but that should at least get you. I know that I'm somewhere between 60 and 70 milliseconds delay, and that's accurate enough for me that the lag issue is not going to be like hardly noticeable. Thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to see more tutorials from me, then please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.